Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be showing you how to forge this Brian Brazil style leaf keychain. Now this is not my design, this is a design from Brian Brazil. I'm going to be forging this out of a piece of 5 8 round bar. I'm going to need two tools for this leaf. One of them is this uh, I'm not sure what to call it exactly, like a double fuller. Two half round fullers with a radius down the middle. And that'll be used to create the center line of the leaf. The other tool is kind of this half round ball punch. It looks like kind of half a ball, radiused and both directions and cut off flat at one side. This is what you use to make the vein, what will be the veins and texture to the leaf down the sides. If you can see that indent there. So let's get started. So we got the end of the bar hot. Now using the flat side of the hammer, lay the bar flat on the anvil. We're gonna create about a 30 degree taper at the end of the bar, only on two sides. So two sides will be tapered. And the other two will be flat with the back of the bar. See how it's flat along the back with a taper on the front. We want to get this point down to about an eighth inch square. You don't want to get it real sharp. A dull point will be better later on. And continue working on that taper. Now this corner here where it transitions from the taper into the round bar, I'm going to knock that corner off just a little bit, just so it's no longer a hard transition. Now you see how we got the back is flat down here, and then up at the top got this taper and then a radius and then the rest of the bar. That radius there will make the finished leaf look quite a bit better. And when we come back where that sharp transition was, where that sharp transition was, we're going to hang that off the edge of the anvil with the back flat sides facing up this time. We're going to find that transition move about a quarter inch out past that transition, do a half faced blow and set down this entire mass out at the end off the edge of the anvil. Turn it 90 degrees and do the same thing on the other side. And you come a quarter inch past that transition. Then a nice sharp corner to work off of. I'm going to make sure it's on that corner and rotate it 90 degrees to the other flat side. Go back and forth working to make that smaller.
then come in here from the back side, round off these back corners just a little bit. Now see how we have that transition, that taper, and a little bit more mass out on the end. And, we want to set, and then you want to set this down so that at the base of the leaf, it's about a quarter inch wide or quarter inch square. When I come back, we're going to come over the near side of the anvil. We did the set down on the other end on these two sides. And then we're going to come to the near side of the anvil and on the other two sides, we're going to create two more set downs going the other direction to isolate material in the middle that we can draw out for the stem. Over the near side of the anvil, I'm going to find our spot. With what I've got here, I'm going to use about an inch, inch and a half of material. Find our spot. Create a nice sharp corner there. Rotate it. And another sharp corner. Now you're going to work from those two corners. To start drawing out the rest of this stem. You're going to have to go back and forth to keep the stem straight. And whatever dimension you have up here at the top, you want a long, slow taper down to the end of the bar. And here's how it's coming so far. And I keep drawing this down. You get a little bit longer here, the bottom half.
There, so when you're done drawing it out, you should have a fairly even taper all the way down to the bottom. You want to leave the last inch or so a little bit thicker than you want it in the end. That way it stays strong for when you finish out the leaf. Now with a slightly lower heat, I'm going to run back over and round up the stem. All but that last inch, inch and a half of material at the very end. Going from square, knocking down the corners to make it octagon. And then rolling it to make it round. Now next I'm going to come in using the round side of the hammer, laying the leaf with the corner up, I'm going to hit the straight down on that corner to flare, to flare out the leaf to about an eighth inch thick, maybe slightly thicker. You don't want to go any further than that because we're going to have to drive those punches in to texture it and you need that thickness there. Now I'm going to start in the middle, trying to keep the hammer right in the center, and I'm going to slowly work out towards the tip. I'm going to come back to the bottom and flare out the right side, then the left side with a flat. I'll go back over, flatten the whole thing out. Now if it's not perfectly even, it doesn't matter. It just makes it look like a more natural leaf not an artificial, perfect creation. Now I'm going to start with the double fuller punch. Start at the right centered on the stem and slowly and gently work my way up towards the tip. Now this first heat, I'm just marking it. I'm not trying to put the final deep impression in it. I just want a nice, straight, even set of lines for me to follow when I come back for the next heat. There we go. I got the lines set in there. And I come back, I'm going to sink them in to at least half the depth, half of the material thickness. And you're going back over them. This time, you want them nice and deep. Make sure you follow the lines that you already had in there. Because if you don't, you'll end up with a with either crooked or more lines than you need. Neither of which looks very good. And now see I wasn't paying attention there and got one little mark off to the side. Shouldn't be a, that one shouldn't be too much of an issue. You can see on the bottom there Got a bit of a miss hit and got one off to the side. Try to avoid doing that, but where that one is, it shouldn't affect the finished product much. So now it's time for the half ball punch. I'm going to start at the base of the leaf 
the flat side towards the point. You're going to mark both sides and you want to do one side then the other. You know, when you start out, you want that flat side perpendicular to the center vein. And as you move up, you want to slowly point it towards the tip of the leaf until at the tip you get to at least a 45 degree angle or sometimes even just a little bit more with some of these. See how as they run up the back of the, as they run down the side of the leaf, that angle slowly changes towards the point. Now these are just marked in here. I'm going to come back in and you want to set these down in there well past half, probably three quarters of the way into the material. And that'll bulge out the sides of the leaf around each one of these little pockets. Gonna very lightly flatten it back out. Run back over and really sink these in there. Make sure you line them up with the spots that you already marked. Because again, you don't want a double hit on any of these. Think one more heat to run over to the pockets and then I'll take another heat and clean up the center line again and the texture on the surface will be done. Now one more heat over the center line. There we go. Now, I'm gonna use this piece of wood. It's got a bit of a divot burned out in it. And I'm gonna lay this leaf face down on the wood. And I'm gonna use the round side of the hammer to hammer it down into that divot to sort of cup the front of the leaf out towards all, the, all that texture. Lay it in that spot. Hit the back nice and light. You don't want to damage any of the texturing on the leaf. Put that to the side, grab a brush. Clean off that surface while it's still a little bit hot. And there's the leaf end. Now what we got to do is down here where we left it square, we're going to draw that down 
even thinner, very, very thin at the very end, maybe a sixteenth of an inch thick. And then we're going to round it up, bend it 90 degrees, and twist it off the bar. And that'll create the scroll on the very end, as well as it will remove the leaf from the bar. So we're going to work down this last inch and a half right where it connects to the bar. I'm going to go down till it's a little bit thicker than a sixteenth of an inch. And go over, round it up, go from octagon, from square to octagon to round. I'm going to bend it. And when I come back out of the fire, I'm going to bend it a sharp 90 degrees. Grab the leaf and a pair of tongs and twist the bar until it comes off. I'm going to bend that over nice and sharp. Grab it in the tongs and twist and keep twisting until it breaks off. So set that to the side. Gonna flatten out that, that scroll just a little bit. Get a little bit of touch up. And there we go. A nice tight scroll. There we go. A nice tight scroll. And this will be bent around to lay on top of the surface of the leaf. So this is the side that you'll see. The other side where it was broken off isn't quite as nice looking, has a little bit of flat spot in the middle where it broke and we had to flatten it out. So we'll twist this around so that the pretty side lays on top of the leaf. Now I'm using a pair of scrolling tongs for all this bending. I'm going to twist that around a little, get that lined up, start to curve that a little bit. Now when I come back out of the fire, I'm going to heat right at the base of the leaf and bend it close to 90 degrees back. And then I'll make the loop. That'll make it so that the loop is more behind the leaf rather than sticking out in front of it. So I'm going to bend that straight back and slowly so that it's nice and even. I'll bring that stem around over a couple heats. There we go, all bent around. Now I just got to wire brush it, put a little bit of brass on the leaf and some wax and it's all done.
Now a little bit of brass on the face of the leaf. And I have to heat it back up a little bit. A bit of wax. And this is about two thirds beeswax, one third boiled linseed oil. I like that mixture a little bit better because it still has, it still looks like wax, but it gets a little bit the finish gets a little bit harder than just beeswax on its own. It'll kind of dry and cure over a day. It doesn't get hard like a paint, but it does get a little bit harder than that real soft beeswax. And I always kind of wipe it down with a cloth, very lightly kind of pat any extra wax off of it. Make sure there's no big drops hanging somewhere. And that's it. That is a Brian Brazil style leaf keychain.